Hi guys, this is Dr. Jen Caudill and I'm back with the Be Your Own Doctor series and this time I thought I would speak about a topic that so many of you asked me about and that is why I decided to become an osteopathic physician. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the yellow bell because I want to make sure that you get all the updates for my videos. So many of you might know me from television. Uh, I'm a family physician and I'm an on-air health expert. So I appear on the Dr. Oz Show, uh, the Rachel Ray Show, uh, Fox News, uh, CNN, HLN, and so many other places. Uh, but I'm also an associate professor at an osteopathic medical school and I see patients as well as teaching medical students and residents. So if you're thinking about going to medical school, there's probably a really good reason why you want to go. In fact, most of us have or had compelling reasons why we wanted to be a doctor. Now as a practicing doctor for about 10 years, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, I can tell you I had a reason too. And one of those reasons was my own family doctor growing up. His name was Dr. Johnson amazing. He had a white coat and a doctor's bag and I grew up in the state of Iowa and he made house calls. My brother had bad asthma and um, sometimes he would come over in the middle of the night to help us. Um, he took our calls on weekends uh, in the middle of the day. He even took my calls from college. This family doctor really was an amazing role model for me um, and was one of the main reasons why I wanted to be a doctor. I knew coming um, towards the end of college that I didn't want to go to medical school right after. I wanted to take at least a year off or so and really live a little and learn some things and travel and do other things. Now those of you who know me really well know that my life took a big turn and I don't know, should I tell you guys? Well if you don't know, a little detour. Um, I competed in the Miss America pageant in 1999. I didn't win, but it was an amazing year and I spent that year traveling as Miss Iowa and then the next year I worked at MTV Networks in New York. But I digress. So imagine that this is almost going into my second year out of college and I'm at home. Um, I was visiting home and I was in the kitchen with my mother and I was filling out, you know, kind of looking at my college, uh, excuse me, my med school application stuff, trying to figure out what to do. My mother says, are you gonna apply to osteopathic schools? And I said, what do you mean? What are, what are those? Like bone? bone bone schools <laughs> she said no it's not a bone school it's what dr johnson is remember my family doctor dr johnson yeah apparently he was an osteopathic physician i had no idea the first thing i'll tell you is because well sometimes it's hard to tell allopathic doctors that's mds and osteopathic doctors do's apart why because we often do the same thing and we work together but there are some differences. Now, before I get into those differences, let me tell you how I responded to my mother when she was like, you know, hey, bone, you know, osteopathic, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, who are these people? Who are these osteopathic people? Note to self, I went to Princeton undergraduate and quite honestly, all of my pre-med advising, none of my pre-med advisors even told me that there was something called osteopathic medicine. First thing I did was I got on the internet and I started trying to figure out who are these people, these osteopath people? <laughs> um, I found some phone numbers for the American Osteopathic Association, the American Association of Colleges of Osteopathic Medicine and others, and I just picked up the phone. Everyone was so friendly, everyone was so warm, and it's, this is, by the way, on the phone. Everyone was so welcoming. And honestly, what it did for me was it made me say, I want to learn more. Now there's so much to know about osteopathic medicine, but let me give you a few pointers that are still quite impressive to me. Um, you know, there are over 100,000 osteopathic physicians in this country, and it's pretty amazing because the profession is growing amazingly. The other thing that was really appealing to me was this thing called osteopathic manipulative treatment, or OMT. You might have heard of OMT and been like, what's that? Well, let me tell you. OMT is basically um, a way that osteopathic physicians use their hands to uh, diagnose and treat the body. Now you might be wondering, do we use our hands only? Do we not use medications and surgery and all that other stuff? Mm, no, no, don't worry. We do all the stuff that allopathic doctors do. We prescribe medications, we do surgery, we're dermatologists, we're family doctors, we're um, surgeons, ENTs, you name it. But we also have extra training in the musculoskeletal system when we're in medical school. And we learn literally how to diagnose uh, and treat conditions with our hands. The other thing that osteopathic physicians are known for is treating the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. And I'll be honest with you, I couldn't believe more in that. I want 
wanted a program and I wanted a medical school program that really believed in not separating people out for their parts, but looking at the whole person. And that's exactly what I got in osteopathic uh, medicine. I remember when uh, I was going to apply to medical schools, get this, and this is true story. Um, I was so impressed and so excited about the concept of osteopathic medicine that I didn't even apply to any allopathic schools at all. I only applied to osteopathic schools. This is nothing against our allopathic colleagues because the truth of the matter is, we all work together. I remember in medical school, a lot of the professors that taught us in South Jersey, which is where I went to school, also taught the MD students that were in North Jersey. Um, so in many ways, we received basically the same education, but DOs, um, we have more musculoskeletal uh, training and we learn the OMT portion of it as well. You may see your doctor and not know whether they're a DO or an MD because we do so many things the same. Um, but the difference is OMT and osteopathic manipulative treatment. Also, there's this big emphasis on treating the whole person and honestly, I couldn't love that more. So how do I feel about being a DO? I love it. I wouldn't change a single thing. Um, you know, if you're trying to figure out which direction to go, uh, keep your eyes and ears open, talk to different people, um, think about what you eventually and, and ultimately want to do, uh, and make sure that you visit schools and you talk to people. And I would say, honestly, follow your heart. Because honestly, your heart will tell you exactly where you need to end up. I promise you that. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you click the yellow uh, bell so that you can get updates. I definitely want to connect with you everywhere.